You're here with me, am I right? Hello! We're back in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Back cooking. It's been a while. Not cooking, but filming and cooking. Been I'm quite, quite, quite a while. What last one we did? Uh, can't remember. Can't remember. No. Oh well. Anyway. We're back. Guess who's back? Back again. Sorry. Excited. Right. What are we cooking? So today we are going to do a vegetable shawarma. I think that's how you pronounce it. I think it's right. Shawarma. No, I think you. I think you're shawarma. right with shawarma. I think you're right with shawarma. Now again, it's vegetable after our time Tiny on holiday, yeah. you know, which was not non-veggie. It was very meaty. We didn't see a vegetable. No, hardly we any. Seen one. We, we had to get them ourselves. We actually found yeah. them. Very small section, but even yeah. when you go out, there's not much. There's no vegetables. Yeah, so we're, so we're all like breaded and uh, yeah, meat and yeah, yeah, chicken. and fried stuff. Yeah. So, and so we need to get back to it. Yeah. So we we sort of going through a lot of vegetarian dishes at the minute. Yeah. But this is um, one of them. I mean, we've never made it before. No, but like like normal, we look at a few recipes because there were a few that had meat in, didn't they? Yeah. And we just look at like, all oh, right, we combine a few things that to how we cook. Because what we found sometimes is a lot of time you can follow recipes and they work other times you follow it and you think i should have used my instinct so we yeah. look at things and we go with using our fast knowledge of cooking oh. <laughs> it is over 30 years and at times we have adapted them halfway throughout and we've tasted them and thought oh that's mm. not right or something needed adjusting so we've done that yeah but but again we, we just try to do it to what we know and that we know works and hopefully carries on working. Yeah, sometimes you have a disaster. We've had many, 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 many. And if we ever have a disaster doing one of these, it's all filmed, it'll all be shown. <laughs> so far, we've had a few little hiccups, but not, not anything major. No. Have I no. just cursed us? Bam, bam, bam. So without further ado, let's go and check out the ingredients. Ooh. Right, here we are with the ingredients. Now I'll just pan around just so that you can see. There's quite a lot for this dish. Not too many though. Not too many, but more than some of our recipes. <laughs> anyway, yeah. let's start. Now these first things, I've sort of sectioned them. So this this side. All right, that's me being told. Are the dressing, but all these are part of the the veg swarmer anyway, so it'll all become clear. So we start with natural yogurt. It's playing a nice tune in that natural yogurt. I'm going then here. a little gem lettuce. Hello, I'm little and tiny. One. Cucumber. A red onion. Mint sauce. Which way am I going now? Backwards. No, no, chickpeas. Oh, sorry. Chickpeas. Sorry, <laughs> essential. <laughs> Essential, a cauliflower. Do you recognise that? Well, I can smell the spices. Well, come in here now. Don't want to get Sweet told Sweet potatoes. A lemon, well, half a lemon. Salt and pepper. And then are we moving over and here? And then we're moving over here to the spices and the seasoning. So this is going to be the the spices for the shawarma, the veg. So the, all this is going to be good. That's going yeah. to go on to that. Oh, that's going to go into this. Onto so I'll the start with the sort of wetty things behind. Wetty things. <laughs> that, I hope that's not me. <laughs> you. Yeah, me. No, I'm the, damp the wet squib. Yeah, the damp squib man. Yeah. <laughs> Olive oil, and then we've got maple Ooh. syrup. You can mm. use maple syrup or honey, but we only have maple syrup in the house at the minute, so that's what we're using. Water. So I've just got a bottle of water. Just. I don't know why we've got a bottle of water. I don't want to keep going to the tap. Yeah. So water, not from the well. I nearly said a lamb. A lamb. Lemon. Yeah, here's a lamb. <laughs> meh, meh. Go on. And garlic. And then for the dry spices. Which, way, which one do you oh, want to start at? Just point and I'll say what it is. So that is cayenne pepper. pepper. Oregano. I reckon. No. That's like ginger. ginger. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Okay, me. Paprika. Pica. That's got to be cumin. Cumin. I'm just jumping in. And we all know what this is. Turmeric. Turmeric. There we go. And they, oh, they look pretty. They do well, look pretty. Spread them out like that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you've done a really good job. Yeah. Life detail. There we go. So there, there they are. And then you'll need something to put them in. 
like a wrap or a flatbread or a pizza or something like that. But this is just for, it's called a sheet shawarma. That was oh, a sheet shawarma. <laughs> <laughs> Which just means that it's all cooked and one train will go into a bowl. So like a Buddha bowl or a different... Yeah, or you bowl. just put it on your... Or you just put it on a plate. On your, on a plate, on a wrap. Or a sheet. On a sheet. And there we go, they're the ingredients. So, we will start to prepare. Right, something a bit different. You can't see his face, but we are double prepping. Just, just came up with an idea right now. So I'm going to get on with the cauliflower and start to prep this first. The reason why I'm prepping the cauliflower first is because if you do the sweet potatoes first, they can go brown, which I've just been told by my uh, able assistant here. When I say assistant, it's a joint thing. Hold on a bit, whoa, steady on, I have finished talking. It's a nightmare already. Nice coming out. So I'm gonna crack on with this so you can watch me do this. Not on the sweet potato, because somebody else is going to start doing the seasoning. Seasoning, right? So I'll crack on so you can wash his both. So firstly, and just because it needs a sieve, and I don't want to waste another pot, <laughs> I'm going to squeeze. So we, we want the juice of one full lemon, and as you can see, these are very pipe. 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 Yeah. Is that like that? Pipe. That's a pipe straw. Yeah, that's a pipe straw. Yeah. yeah. So there we go. Get as much juice out. As you possibly can, keep squeezing, squeezing. There we go. And I've just took all the leaves off and then Excuse chopped me. off the bottom of the cauliflower. Now I'm just going to start to get the middle out as you carry on. I'm still squeezing. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Right, so that is done with now. I'll just pop that over there, out of the way, just need some tissue. All right, you wondered where I just disappeared to then? Just making sure that I did press record. <laughs> right, now I'm just going to move that bowl so you can see the next bit. I'm going to take the tin of chickpeas and drain them Oops. while you slap. How am I doing that like that? I don't know. I knew I needed that. Yeah, don't, don't drain it into there though. Not you know, like we've had we've had that case before. That all over the place. Oh yeah, thanks. That's where we're just putting my cauliflower. I don't know. But right, I'm just draining these while now off the side. There we go. And in the meantime, I'm just taking the you know like the heart out of the cauliflower, and then I'm going to start breaking it up into you know decent size florets. You try to keep them all the same, but sometimes you get some little ones like that. But we're still. We're still going to use them, like that one there, I'll just give a little chopping off. And the thing with cauliflower is it will shrink down, won't it, once it it's been roasted in the oven. Yeah. It does shrink down and it does get very messy with bits going everywhere. But that's the fun of cooking. Now, if you wonder what I'm doing, I have drained these in the sieve, these chickpeas, and then quickly rinsed them because they're in a sort of briny. Water. Now I'm just a briny trying water. to I think it is, I don't know, dry them off as much as possible with kitchen towel. Now the reason for that is if you don't, they take longer to cook. So what you want with the I'm getting cauliflower, no, I mean cauliflower. That it, what the texture that you're after once they're in the shawarma is a, a crispy dry down so you don't want the the soft you know bean like texture i don't know why i'm looking you know so she's looking at me bean like that. texture they want to be crispy now we've done a a tortilla yeah tortilla that has these crispy chickpeas in it's really mm. really good i think we've we actually did a video on that yeah. i think that was caravan cooking that we did with that oh, one. oh it's uh it's yeah nice. it's a good one i'm swapping back again then Put them there for one minute while I get the rest of the mixture sorted. As you can see, I'm still happily chopping the cauliflower into roughly similar bite-sized pieces. I'm just putting it into a bowl so I've got a bit more room to move it. Quite a big cauliflower, this one. And again, we're cooking it all because if there's anything left over, it's always good for packing up next day. Oh, it's really good. Yeah. So in goes the maple syrup, just put it there. And next, the olive oil, equal 
quantities. Equal quantities. Lovely. There we go. I do like cauliflower on this set. I just don't like, I'm not a big fan of chopping it because it just goes all over, but. It does, it does get a spoon, it didn't get a big enough yeah. spoon. Didn't get a big enough spoon. There we go. Nothing worse. Right. Now I'm going to add the spices. So all of them at once. So, just a quick question. Are you aware? Uh, I can't this? hear because I'm banging yeah. over this plate. There we go. All right, so are you finding this quite interesting that we're both having a conversation, cooking and prepping at the same time? I yeah. quite like, quite like this idea. I, like that. I don't like the cauliflower and I grated them, do me? Garlic. Oh, yeah. can't, you can't please some people, can you? No. Next, grate in the garlic. Uh, if you've got a garlic press, you can use that. I find that you just end up with massive big chunks stuck in that press and not we keep, what to do with. We keep trying, don't we? trying it, but it doesn't seem to work that well for me, personally. Yeah. So I'll just take all my... Cauliflower, all prepped. So that's go. to one side. That's nice. Next, I'm going to... I can use that, can use that plate from sweet potato, can't I? Yeah. yeah. So next, I'm just going to start to prep sweet potato, top and tail. And then, oh, I've got that one. I don't like that one. Mm -hmm. Let's try it. I don't like it. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's not too bad on this. Top and tail. And then just peel the sweet potato. See, it always turns over at top. That's why I don't like it. I know. It's a bit weird. Yeah. One. I mean, it's a really good sharp, you know, peeler. But I just prefer the other one we've got. But this is the one I've been given. So I have to put up with well, it. Yeah. Use these tools. I knew you were going to say that. I just knew you were going to say it. Right. Now it's all in, apart from if we need to add any water. So let me. Are you going to show the consistency? Oh, one it's very wet. It's just very <laughs> descriptive. <laughs> well, Quite yeah. Funny. Right, really. So, um, but it's, there's got to be enough of it to cool all the veg. And there's a lot of veg. There is a lot of veg, so that's my concern. Let me just smell it. Yeah, because because we've mm. gone we've, we've gone quite cauliflower heavy, and yeah. we compared to the thing. So I think with the cauliflower, it'll be a case of adding it in as a way. We might only need half, and if we do, well then we'll just freeze. Let's pop that there. Well, uh, how big these pieces need to be? Just little. Not like that. Cute. Yeah. Like that? Yeah, not too big, or they'll take forever to cook. Okay. Mind you, the oven is on quite hot. So the oven's on at 2 210. Yeah, 210. And we're looking, once they come out, for a bit of charredness around the edges, and obviously they're a little bit soft. Usually takes about 25 minutes at that temperature, doesn't it? It does, yeah. And then you get the nice black bits around the edge. Which is what, which is what you're looking for. But again, mm. as we always say on a lot of our videos, use your, keep checking it. Because everybody's oven's different. You know, we've used, done plenty of recipes. And it's, you know, you've just got to sometimes use your judgment and go from, go from there. I mean, because our oven's like ancient, so sometimes that don't cook how it should do. And it's going to reach pressure. So I'll just yeah. do this. So what we've done in readiness is just lined two baking sheets, which is the sheet Sharma. Sheet Sharma. Sorry. Oh, Sharma. Um, with baking paper so that it doesn't get stuck to the tray. Yeah. Ready to go. Even though they're non-stick trays. Even though they're non-stick trays. Less messy, isn't it? Then? Yeah, less to clean. Much so at this point, I'm going to start adding the seasoning. All right. Have we done all the chopping for the meantime? We've done all the chopping. So I'm now, just going to clear that off. I'm right. just adding seasoning, salt, and pepper. Everything else is in. I'll bring that back just in case Keep we going. might need that for the next bit. And the good. At this point, I'll just dance about. 
dancing hands. Look at that, I'm really, really busy at this point. Do, do, do. Well, I'm going to see how it looks from that side. Yeah. Right, let me move over just slightly. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that is there. Well, I went dizzy then shaking that round. Mmm. Mm. Alright. Trick these in. Now, it's the simple task of adding the veg. And like we said, there may be too much cauliflower. Which is fine. So let's just start adding it. Yeah, because it's probably, did, did, did we decide probably about half a cauliflower? Yeah, well, only and that's, small cauliflower in this. It's quite a big. It's quite a. I'll show you. It was quite. Yeah, so that's what's left. A nice size. Uh, we'll, just, we'll just freeze that. She wants it to have a good, a good coating. You know, like all over. I think that probably looks about right, doesn't it? Yeah. Because thing, we, what were the water for then? Just so that you, it coats all the veg. Right. Just to thin it down slightly, because obviously maple syrup isn't a runny. Well, it is runny, but it's not. Did you add water in then, or? I, I just to... had a, a bit of a splash. Ah, right, not okay. Not a great deal of water. I'm just stood here now at this side of the camera, just watching you. I know. So I think, that is stirred enough. Yeah. Yeah. And then what we're going to be doing? And now, I'll just move that to one side. Right, so I, oh, shall, I come in, shall I come in and watch them? So you're not doing any more double chopping, are we? So I can come in. I'm changing my angle now. Ooh. Changing the angle. Now, you want to spread it out, but not... Have you got two trays just I've in case? Two. Yeah, because you want to spread it out, because otherwise if it's all on top of each other, it doesn't... It's not going to cook as quick, which means it's not going to have that toastiness. And since I've done the two trays anyway, <laughs> we're, really we're, we're going to be using those I'm two going trays. We're using those two trays. Right. So. Nope. Now, is there more on one tray than the other there? I don't know. Still don't Let's have a look. There is. Mmm, I'm just getting it. Oh, it's that time again. It's the shadow time I've got to be careful of. So there we go. Yeah, they're slightly, I'm just going to move some of this cauliflower up. Yeah, that, that, that one looks a bit lonely, a cauliflower. I must, I must say, there's a bit of a, there's a, there's a bit of a, you know, like, mm, uneven amount. That tray could get upset because it hasn't got enough cauliflower on. Yeah, let me spread it. But all that liquid, that'll probably go a bit more runnier, will it, in the oven? It should do, it's it, probably caramelised, but we'll there's, gonna be, there's gonna be a bit of water come out of the veg, isn't there? Yeah, there's gonna be water comes out of the veg. So there we go. So now that's gonna go into the oven. Back to you. Da, 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 da. For 28 to 25 oh, minutes, as I said. Relax, come around this. On. Oh yeah, oh wait, oh, look at that, we're going very, way we're lighter, that's yeah. better. <laughs> God, sorry, I've just had to. 20 to 25 minutes yeah. and 210 and we will check them at 20 minutes to see how they're going. Okie dokie, coolio. I'm just going to get on with just a couple of the little side. <laughs> Sorry, I'm first. just pulling faces, isn't you? Yeah. Uh, so first it will be the rayata now I've just made, it's just to go on top and just give it a bit of sauce. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just make a very simple one with natural yoghurt mint sauce and a tiny bit of chilli powder. Now we have seen some recipes that say pour, is it a tahini over the top? Like yes, a tahini over the mixture. Shawarma, yeah. Yeah, but we, we just like the like rayata. And we've spun round because it's that time of the year oh, where it's going dark and we probably need to probably get a ring light at we some do. point or something like that. We, we sometimes mock us own up, so we've spun round. So now I'm coming down here. Oh, I'm going to say. me? Yeah, I've seen enough for you now. That's it. You're done. And that's it. And then we've got the shadow. Okay, I'm just spinning around. That's I? it. So I just get a fat-free natural yoghurt. That's it. And how, much, and how much do you put in? About half for, half for it? Well, it's a bit more than half. I'd say three quarters. Three quarters-ish. Yeah, uh, you can put whatever. As much as you like. And a teaspoon. And mint sauce. Is that to start with? That's to start with. I like it minty. Mix. 
It's the simplest rayata, and we just think it tastes really nice. Yeah, no. it's nice and fresh. It gives it that bit of sauciness. If, you know, sometimes they can be a bit dry and you need just a little bit of sauce. Yeah. Ooh, mouth's watching as I'm mixing it. I know you do, you do like this, don't you? I do like this. Oh, you, oh, so I'm just going to put a tiny, tiny, another half a teaspoon in. That's a teaspoon of I like my mint. And then, have you got a teaspoon to taste it with? Or do you do a taste? And, or I, do you I don't taste do a taste, taste at the end? no. No, I just leave it. But how do you know how good it? How do you know if it's right though? Is it just by it eye? It just looks right. It just looks right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and then, is... as I say, a tiny sprinkling of chili powder. There we go. Mix it in. And is that it? And that's it. Job done. That's it. Well, job done. Job now, done. because we've got about seven minutes it says left on the veg there are you going to start are you going to start prepping the next bit or are we just going to wait a bit and test them no i'll start prepping the next bit it's just the veg okay pal i'll slide that out of the way look oh, you can be great. an assistant and then do 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 mm. i haven't just tasted that right at it, honestly no, I can see. No, I'm just stirring it, honestly, I'm not yeah. testing it. Right, so for the bit of salad, because it has some fresh salad ingredients that... You need you, a bit of crunch, need, don't you? A bit of crunch and you need that relief. Oh, look at you with relief. So I'm just going to, as I said, this is a little, little gem of this that I am... And now... As a lot of you have noticed in our last few videos, somebody's found the big knife the and they're obsessed big with knife. big sharp knives now. Oh, that was that was a, a really good thing in Florida. They had, they had some right knives. knives, didn't they? That's a bit of a chunky bit that I'm not putting there. There we go. I've got another one if we need more lettuce, but I think that should suffice. suffice. Next, suffice. Look at this with posh words. Oh, yeah, yes. that does suffice. Fingers out of it. Yeah. I still not learnt where to put my fingers. No, oh. so the the way out of the way. So you're doing thin slices yeah. then? Yeah, well, I'm just oh, right. chucking it, to be fair. Oh, I would have I would have probably chopped them a little bit more, but then again, I'm not making them. I'm not making it, so there we go. So That's if you want to, you can have big slices of giant cucumber. Exactly as you want. It is just. And tonight, we are I'm having today. giant. Oh. She's scaring me now with big, big chopper. Sit <laughs> here, <laughs> laugh then. <laughs> Psycho laugh. Oh yeah. In fact, the last two holidays we've been on, we're not holding out a great deal of hope for the next one. But the last two holidays <laughs> have had some fantastic knives. Now I know that's not normally how you rate your holiday, <laughs> but I have to say, I was yeah. mega Are you impressed. Slicing. Oh yeah. Slicing. Slicing. Yeah, they were. Um, they must have had on sharp knives. We're about twenty in Florida. Yeah. I they well, I think there must have been thirty when went away for his anniversary. All different types of oh, some good, some good quality knives. knives. Yeah. So hence, I have got a bit more used to slicing. Now I'm just breaking these onions up because you don't want a great big. So with this, do you put any? dressing on it or do you just leave it as raw salad and mix it no it's just raw okay and then you mix it it's a bit like if you were gonna have let's say a kebab with an onion salad all right yeah then you'd have your rest on it it's just a similar addition similar addition side to yeah. it gives it some crunch oh, oh that nearly. Like. are you doing the full onion or no yeah I'm doing it all. Because that was like a, that about a medium, weren't it? So three quarts for a medium on, you know, probably one small. But again, it's to everybody's preference. Well, that's it. And you put on as much or as little as you want. Yeah. I'm just have done it. So I'm just going to leave it at that. So I think that's enough in my eyes and I'm watching. Because that means the knife is not sharp enough, so I'll have to sharpen it. That's it. If you get runny eyes when you're cutting onions, yeah, it's because it your knife is not sharp enough. That's it. So they need sharpening. Yeah, so our next holiday is in a caravan in Cleethorpes and I'm not holding out a great deal for big for some big knives. Nice. But we'll anyway, see. So it. what do you do with that now then? So that's it. So that just goes to the side now and are wait. You, are you going to mix it round or? No, I'll do that later. 
Are you going to do that later? Okay then. So we'll leave it at that and then we'll go check what is happening in the oven. Right, so we've checked them after 20 minutes yeah. and they were still a bit crunchy, the sweet potato. So we put them on for another five and they were still a little bit. not quite done. So they've been on for 30 minutes all in all. The sweet potato could have been done a bit smaller. Yeah, if that were, Lovely. yeah, yeah. I only followed orders. I only followed orders. I said, are they big enough? Is that right? You went, yes. Well, that's why you check things. So here we go. Oh, oh there we go, look. Have a look. There's some nice, I'm mm. gonna say blackened rather than burnt. Ch charred. Lovely. But it, it doesn't charred. matter because that's what we're after. I'm right, just following in here. There you go. I'll stick that there and then get the other one out. Mm. Yeah, that's the same. Look at that. I'm just doing a bit of elf hand. All right, well done. Don't. Well, what? Why? Why? What do you want? Take forever. Okay. So, I'm now going to scoop them all in. The chickpeas are nice and toasty. Toasty. See, okay. we're going to we're going to lose any. We're going to have any casualties. Ooh. They're all going to go in. So we're just putting this. You're getting them blackened bits in as well. Let's see. Flavor. You mean you're getting the flavoring? Flavor. That's flavor. Good. Getting the flavour in. Right, so that's, let me just get a little shake it out. Are you, are you mixing? A little, little shake? Yeah. And shake it, shake it. Of course, you could have put a bit more cauliflower in, but you could have put a bit more. Anything. No, but I think that, that's, I think that's, that's plenty. Nice sort of ratio. Yeah. And the other cauliflower we have roasted off anyway while, yeah. while we're yeah. doing this one. All right, what, what are you doing I'm there? I'm just trying to. Oh, there we go, we've lost yeah. one. Right. Shall we go? There we go. So in the meantime as well, while that we're on, we just took normal wraps. You can you can do these as set in non breads, flat breads, making yourself. We've just gone for the easy option. Get some wraps, warm them up, you know, either side. So it just takes out that that rawness, doesn't it? That's it. Yep, so we're going to assemble now. We're so I'll catch that. Assemble. So we're coming over here to assemble. Right. Assemble time. Assemble. Don't remove that. So there. Oh, we're chucking a wrap down. Chuck a wrap. Chuck a wrap. Now I am going to put some of this bread on just first. Does the... Oh, shall I put some rest on first? Oh, oh yeah. I was just about to say, what happens with the lemon? Oh, with the lemon. All right. See that? We might get a pip in there. Oh, we might get a pip in there. We might get a pip. Squeeze in the lemon. Just add a bit of acidity, as they say. Squeeze in the lemon. There we go. There we that go. Where's the pip? Where's the pip? Find the pip. Know. Find the pip. Well, something's going to happen. It's in there. Yeah. So, top tip don't put pips in, because we don't need pips. Oh, now it's all over the table. There we go. And now we're going to have a messy hand. Right. So, first, I'm going to put. You're still looking for that pip, aren't you? Anyway, come on, so we've got we've got shadows again. Just a bit. Of rata. Right first. Oh. Then we've costume got costume malfunction. Costume what costume? It's not really a costume, it's not like superheroes. Um Ooh. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, just chuck it on. Crunch. Bit, bit and of then crunch. I probably need a bigger thing than this, don't I, to put on yeah, that original one. Gone for the original one. Then a good little mixture of you want you want a bits of everything, don't you? Yeah. Oh going all over. Oh going all over. Some cauliflower in there. there. Sweet potato. Is that enough in there? Oh. Probably want a bit more. Yeah. Are you going to be able to wrap this around? Probably not, no. Yeah. You can just have it as a more of a flat type thing. Or... Yeah, you could just have it on a plate like that. Just have it on a plate like that. Let's yeah, see. Let me just get a, I want to have a nice little view of that. Oh, let's get in there. Look at that. I'm just going to spin it around that way as well. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, looks then, really, really good. Come on, what are you doing? And this just then. Oops, that was more of a splat. More of a splat. There we go. Have another little look in there and then get it. 
as you've moved so I can see. Oh, look at that. How good does that look? Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Sorry, I'm just going. Let's, let's get mm. in. Let's get in and look at look at all them great looking ingredients. Mm, mm, mm. So I'm just delaying you. So are you going uh -huh. to taste it or not? So are you just going to fold it and then we're having tea? What are you doing? Uh, oh, it's oh. going to be a bit difficult. Let me transfer it to a plate. I don't know that's going to be any easier to no. do anything with. Right then. What are we doing? Are we I having it? I'm just going to try and eat it like that. Oh, uh, you're going to put your little, little bird in or are you just going to pick it up and do a taste test mm. before we get stuck in? They can do that. Right, it's going to come go. out one way or the Oh, I've already lost some. Yeah, because she didn't fold it round to the other yeah, side. I didn't, right. <laughs> so somebody's getting the, the tea before me. Come on then. Oh, I'm going to have to come this way. Cause, uh, what, what was that? Mom, 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 mom. All right, right, that's right. I'm just trying to get better light. Mm. Oh, what was that? Mm. Come on. Mm. Describe. Say around this way to me. Describe. Mm. Obviously not with your mouthful. No. Well, it's quite a sweet, with a maple syrup, it's quite a sweet seasoning. Yeah. Then you get the spices coming through. Uh-huh. The veg and the freshness of the salad goes really well. Uh -huh. And I think the raita works really well on there. It's really, really tasty. Yeah. From that one, yeah, one mm. mouthful. So, as we're saying, good plus point. Mm. Good one, good, really good one. Yeah. Good, uh, good shawarma, as good they say. Shawarma. Nice bit of shawarma. Nice bit of shawarma, like that. Yeah, really tasty. So first time we've made it. Bit of like fusion from other little bits and bobs. Well, now nah, it's gonna have to say a quick bye bye because I, 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 I'm pushing it back in. I'm not eating it. Get, uh, yeah, mm, yeah, not in it eating anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so hope you've enjoyed watching. I hope you've enjoyed somebody having the food before me and carrying on eating. Mm. And you, hopefully, give it a go. And until next time, see you soon. Bye. Bye.